Welcome to Taxtron Web Tutorial Video Series, where we will understanding the impact of Capital Cost Allowance or CCA on reporting T776 the Statement of Real Estate Rentals. Capital Cost Allowance or CCA is an annual deduction in Canadian income tax for depreciable assets under the Income Tax Act. As you acquire a depreciable asset like a building, furniture, or equipment for use in your business or professional activities, these assets are expected to wear out, become obsolete, or lose value over time due to their use. The Canada Revenue Agency allows you to recover the cost of these assets over time through a tax deduction known as the Capital Cost Allowance or CCA. Please note if your rental property leads to a loss after considering all rental income and expenses, you can't increase that loss further by claiming CCA on additional depreciable assets within the property. Let's bring the theory into action. We will use Taxtron web interface to walk through an example that illustrates the concept we just discussed. To begin, log into Taxtron web and access your T1 tax return. For this video demonstration, I will be opening one of my existing returns. Once inside, head directly to the income section from the left navigation bar. Here, you'll be prompted with a question, did you receive self-employment or rental income? Answer, yes, and proceed. Then, when asked, did you receive rental income in 2023, select, yes, again and click, next. Now, onto the rental statement identification page. Fill in the period information and enter the address of your rental property. Report the gross rent, let's say approximately $8,400. Moving on to expenses, input the amounts. $450 for insurance, $6,350 for interest, and $2,450 for property tax. This helps determine the net rental income. Upon checking the rental statement summary in the left navigation bar, you'll notice a net rental income loss of $850. Now, let's revisit our T776 form and navigate to the CCA section. Answer, yes, to the question, do you have assets eligible for capital cost allowance, depreciation, and proceed. Assuming you've purchased new furniture this tax year for which you want to claim CCA. Select CCA Class 8 and confirm, yes, to, did you purchase a new asset? Enter additions of $2,000. If you navigate to the, rental statement summary, in the left navigation bar and print the summary you'll notice that no CCA has been claimed. Instead, our $2,000 remains available as undepreciated capital cost, UCC, at the end of the year, ready to be carried forward to the future. So it means, if your rental property is already operating at a loss before considering the capital cost allowance, CCA, you generally cannot use CCA to further increase that loss. But let's consider if our net rental income isn't in a loss and instead stands at $1,200. Let's explore what happens next. Returning to the T776 form, let's adjust the gross rental from $8,400 to $12,400. Now, upon reviewing our summary, we see a net rental of $1,150. Printing the summary, we'll observe that a total of $2,000 in CCA has been claimed for the year. Please remember, we're using Class 8, which enables the immediate expensing of 100% of the property's cost as a CCA claim in the year of its purchase. We will be covering this in more detail in our upcoming video. That is a wrap up for today. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.